We are definitely here for this, a holiday giveaway that's becoming a tradition. Yeah, Wachusett Brewing Company is once again working to donate dozens of Christmas trees to veterans and military families. And as WBZ's Mike Sullivan tells us, the goal is to give back to people who give so much to the community. What can I get for you? It's a Christmas cocktail. Yeah, a blend of freedom, flights, and furs. Things are um, very expensive nowadays, as we all know. Wachusett Brewing wants to help. A lot of people are having a hard time making ends meet. Including those men and women in our armed forces and their families. And we have uh, several uh, folks here on staff who are also veterans. Father was a Vietnam uh, War vet. Matt Quinlan is director of operations at Wachusett Brewing. Their hope is... Just to, to do our part to help out uh, for the community, for the, uh, for the armed forces. They are partnering with Operation Service, a nonprofit that started in 2010 helping military members get discounted trees. In 2010, we still had a lot of friends that were deployed in Iraq. Um, you know, some of them were on their second tour. Joe Fermani is a founder. As the organization grew, the trees went from cheap to free. This entire row of trees is at Collie's Garden Center in Fitchburg. It's all part of the operation. You can see right here in the sign, free trees for soldiers. We were fundraising all year long. Fermani budgeted for inflation and the rising cost per tree he knows some families can't always do that. The price has just gone up dramatically. And when you add in, you know, a 22% increase in groceries, uh, the increase in fuel. It can be overwhelming. Even though the program was meant to be a thank you, we saw there was a, a, a financial uh, need. That need can be met Saturday at Wachusett Brewing along with a specially brewed beer. We've got a little bit of a spruce tip um, flavor to it to uh, mark the occasion. A portion of those sales will be donated to charity. We're only making a couple of kegs, so it'll probably sell out over the weekend. In Westminster, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.